high third graders. Now, remember, when we do math boxes, we are highly encouraging you to do these math, math boxes independently. That means on your own. So hopefully you are done with page 97 here. And right now with me, you are going to correct. All right. So we have 5 times 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I always tell kids to write the number above. You have less of a chance to make an error if you write the answer above. Four times four, you can't drive a four by four truck unless you are 16. And you could also do double the double. Four doubled is eight, eight doubled is 16. Which one is bigger? Yes, we always eat the bigger number. Here, I get nine because anything times one is always the other number. And seven, the big number also goes this way. Here, eight doubled is 16. Six doubled is 12. We're going to go this way this time. Count by sevens. Seven plus seven is 14. Another seven gives me 21. Oh, it's the turnaround fact. Ah, I am not getting tricked on that one. Those are equal. All right. Let's go here. Remember, when we have the bottom two numbers, we are going to multiply them together. So we get seven times four. Turnaround fact. 4 times 7. I am going to double 7 to get 14. And remember, when we do times 4, we double that double. So 14 plus 14 gives me, yes, 28. So I can write that here and here. And remember, I always write the big number when we're multiplying first. That the bigger number has to come first. And then here I'm going to do the 7 equals four, go around the other way, divided by four equals seven. Are you on target so far? I hope so. In do the rule, out do the opposite. So here the opposite of these are gonna be multiplied by three, multiplied by three. Here I'm gonna divide by three. So how many times do I have to count by three to get to nine? Let's do it. Three, six, Seven, eight, nine. How many times did I count by three? One, two, three. Yes. All right. How many times do I have to count by three to get to 15? Three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Now, these are in the out. Out, do the opposite. So now I need to do seven times three. All right, so I've already counted by threes five times. If I keep going, I could get to seven. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 18, 19, 20, 21. I counted by threes seven times. I get the answer of 21. Here, I'm going to count by tens because that's easy. How many times will I count by tens? Yes, three times. So 10, 20, 30. Now be careful here, if you want to multiply, you're going to put it over here, okay? If you wanna divide, you're gonna put it over here. So I'm gonna divide. I'm gonna divide three divided by three. So third graders, think about this. How many times do you have to count by three to get to three? Ready, three, one time. Now you can go the opposite. Remember one times three is three. Let's go to the next box. Draw an array of 28 X's arranged in four rows. Okay, so here's one. Oh, I got to do X's. Those are a little bit harder for me to make, especially on here. All right, there's four. Now let's keep counting. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, and finally I get to 28. Whew, that one was exhausting. How many marks are in each row? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have four rows of 
seven. So that is four times seven. That array shows four times seven. All right, the ages of nine grandfathers. Well, we have to find the mode. And I remember mode because the M-O. Mode means the most, the one you see the most up here. So it's the one that repeats the most. So I looked down here because I put these in order from smallest to largest. And I noticed I see 65 twice. That's the one. That's the mode. The one that repeats the most. Mo, mo. Median, I always have a song for. Baby, why don't you just meet me in the median? Oh, yeah, the middle. So what you do is you cross off a low and a high, 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 and you are left with the median, the one in the middle. All right, our last one is plus a thousand. Oh yeah, I love these because the only thing that's gonna change here is the five. Everything else is zeros. I will gladly count by that. That's gonna be six. Now down here, it will change to a seven, go to an eight, go to a nine, and finally go to a 10. Then I'm gonna go back and write six, 70, six, 70, see, 670, 670, and 670. Oh no, I gotta go backwards on this arrow. So instead of adding a thousand, you got it. I'm gonna take away a thousand, four, and then 670. Go back, remember, after the third number, one, two, three, you add your commas. All right, third graders, I hope you're on task today and that you could complete your math boxes. Keep your brain working on math and practice your math facts today. Have a wonderful day.